who was Jean Baptiste Say? Jean Baptiste Say was a French classical, liberal economist, and scholar. Say was born in Lyon in 1767 and had a distinguished career. During his life, he edited a journal, operated a cotton factory. He served on a government finance committee under Napoleon. He was the first to teach a public course on political economy in France at the Athenee at the Conservatory of Arts and Crafts from 1817 to 1830, and later at the College de France from 1830 until his death. Say was a friend of Thomas Robert Malthus and David Ricardo. Say was the leading French political economist in the first third of the 19th century. He was the originator of the theory that supply creates its own demand, which is called Say's Law of Markets. In his most important work, one of the most widely read treatises on economics in the 19th century, a treatise on political economy, Say presents his treatise as a shorter and more systematic version of Adam Smith's Wealth of Nations. In his work, Say examines the concept of wealth and establishes the laws upon which his production, distribution, and consumption depend. For Say, there are three great agents of production, industry, capital, and natural agents. Say was the best-known expositor of Adam Smith's views in both Europe and the United States. Although Say concurs with Smith in his theory of the operation of the economic system, he disagrees with Smith at a number of points. Say rejects the labor theory of value held by Smith and Ricardo that the basis of the value of a good is the labor or productive agency devoted to it. Value is the combined product of labor, capital, and nature. He proposes the utility theory of value. It is the creation of utility that creates value. The price of a good reflects its utility to the buyer. While Smith had made the entrepreneur invisible, Say makes the entrepreneur central to economic activity. Effort, knowledge, and application are found in any process of production. Entrepreneurs use their industry to organize and direct the factors of production to achieve satisfaction of human wants and market demands. On another point, Smith's division of labor emphasized time, safe, and improving the skill with the hands of the workman. For Say, the application of tools and machinery was crucial. Unlike Smith, Say emphasized the difference between enterprise and capital and the profits arising from them in the productive process. Say claimed his system was more perfect because it dealt with the production of immaterial goods. The treatise is the source of Say's law, or the law of markets, which states that supply creates its own demand. More precisely, that aggregate production leads to aggregate consumption. Increased supply increases demand. There may be momentary gluts in production, but it will be corrected by the market in time. Say realized that interest rate is the price of credit, not money. Like commodity prices, it should not be regulated by the state. So there are three important takeaways from this. Say's law of markets argues that the ability to purchase something depends on the ability to produce and thereby generate income. The source of demand is production, not money itself. Say's law implies that production is the key to economic growth and prosperity and the government policy should encourage, but not control, production rather than promoting consumption. Keynes denies but does not refute Say's law. Keynes mischaracterized Say's law of markets as supply creates its own demand and said that the law states that there is no obstacle to full employment and that full employment is the rule. Keynes misunderstood and or misrepresented Say's views by claiming that they deny the possibility of depressions and unemployment. Observing that full employment does not exist, Keynes concluded that Say's law does not hold. Keynes' solution to unemployment is an increase in government spending. His theory therefore shifts from the classical economist's concern with production to a concern with consumption. Although Keynes was the most significant and substantial critic of Say's law, he never really does refute it. According to Say, the goal of good government is to stimulate production, while the goal of bad government is to foster consumption. Say is highly critical of taxation and loans to the government because they reduce the wealth to be exchanged in the private sector. To sum up, production and freedom are the concerns of good government. The full explanatory power of Say's law of markets is that because of the integration of all individual markets into one functioning system, it has to be the reality that government does not have to be concerned with artificially stimulating demand. Say's law, a landmark achievement of integration in economic science, is an essential foundation for a reality-based microeconomic theory. 
It reflects the interconnectedness, reality, and harmony of human economic behavior in a free market economy. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Created using Powtoon.